So if you hear any music in this one, it's coming from two directions. One, well, it's not in stereo, it's mono, but one, it's to kind of hopefully drown out the road construction noise that's happening right outside my window. And two, it's something I just want to see if it works or if it feels good. Just an experimentation to see how it plays out. Just because, you know, as much as I like sharing my thoughts, I like to make it interesting for you guys beyond what I'm saying. Like, the whole package to sound pleasing to the ear and just my voice and nothing beneath it. I don't know. I feel like that might get a little stale or uninteresting because it's just like, you know, there's... There's not a lot of window dressing, even though this isn't an audio-based format. You know what I'm trying to say. And I think it plays in well to what I'm going to be talking about right now, because not too long ago, I hit a certain number of videos. Uh, what was the number where I realized it? Actually, it was just a few days ago. It was at 224. Yeah. And uh, big thing for me, just because every time that number goes up, I'm excited. A lot of people, it's the views and the subscribers. And believe me, those are awesome, too. But I really like seeing how many videos I've personally made. Whether or not they've gotten a lot of views is obviously something that I think about. But I'm more personally satisfied with the number that I've created because there's so many people I know, and for yourself if you did this sort of thing, that you know who haven't even made one. So to have posted one, let alone having posted a total of over 200, is pretty cool. And it's something I'm, I'm proud of. And at the same time, it made me look at uh, some people I know or some people that I follow on YouTube and how many they've put up and seeing that in a good number of cases, I've put up more than them. And there's a brief moment in my head where I'm just like, oh, how come I don't like have as many subscribers or views as they do? And that was that was a fleeting thought. But it was something that I came back to later and went, you know, it's because of the quality and the content that they do. Not to say that mine is bad, but they're going for a different audience. They're presenting a different kind of content. They're doing something different in their videos. The ones that I do are just me uh, talking, hopefully being entertaining, over games that I enjoy and that I'm just rolling dice to hope you guys enjoy too. And I do them largely for friends because they enjoy a lot of these games. I'm just, there's like, hey, play this one. I'm like, all right, sure, let's do that. I've never played this one before. That one sounds cool. All right, I'll try that out. This one does not sound up my alley, but, you know, you talk from here to the moon about it. Ah, let's see if there's any meat on the bone, so to speak. And it made me think, like, well, okay, then. Like, I mean, is it quality or is it quantity? And I think, like so many things in life, it's subjective. It's both, honestly. I mean, like, if you can do both, oh my god, then I mean, I, it's just a matter of patience and time before things start to pick up, I would assume. But I think, off the cuff, it's content, uh, quality, and quantity. Sorry, I meant to say quality and quantity. Content, of course, is always important, but you know what I mean. Uh, for example, you may only be able to put out one video every week, but that one video has high production value, is really well planned out and written, depending on what it is, and it's just a great piece of content. Sure, you gotta wait six days for the next one, but you know that when it comes up, it's gonna be good. Whereas something like mine, not to like punch myself in the back of the head, but it's, could it be better? Absolutely. And it's, it's, it's a coin flip. It's a coin flip every time. What I'm satisfied with and what I think is good may not translate into something that you guys enjoy or that you also think is good. I mean, there are things that I listen back on and go, eh, that was kind of funny. And to someone else who's watching it, they may go, that was stupid. That was, ugh, I didn't like that. No, I'm turning this off. Forget it. It's hard to tell. I mean, I mean, I'm sure there might be a way to tell maybe a straw poll your audience or something. I don't know. But you see what I mean. And the certainly the audiences that I go for, you know, it's it, it's gaming based. It's like I'm, I'm not going for uh, a straight vlogging crowd or uh, art or um, video or how to's or top 10's or unboxing or anything like that. I mean, who knows, maybe we'll give that a shot down the road, but my interest is here. So that's the one I'm focusing on. And there are so many people doing the same thing. There's so many people who do it way better than I do. 
and th there's there's just a lot of people trying to do the same thing so you can get lost in the crowd and certainly not to say that like everybody's in pursuit of like you know I want to make this my job fame fortune ah it's like no 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 it's just you know if you're expecting success overnight as I've said before it is not gonna happen in any level and when I look back and realize that I've really been doing this consistently since I want to say February so let's see that's uh, February, March, April, May. so like maybe maybe under four months consistently like two videos at most every day five days a week it's only been happening for under four months to expect anything where it's like oh you got a bunch of subscribers and views that's not gonna happen because you got to consider how many people try to do this in the sea of people who are already trying to do this and then give up when they don't see results happening quickly. It's not going to happen overnight. Probably wouldn't even happen for years. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, I can't predict the future, but all the YouTubers that I enjoy watching, they weren't overnight successes. It took them years to get to a certain point. And do I want to reach that point? I, I don't know. I have a lot of fun doing this and learning new skills and things like uh, Premiere. Most recently, Photoshop and actually trying to make some good quality title cards, which I, I owe a huge thanks. I, I owe a huge thanks to a lot of people. I'm going to have to make a thank you video. I honestly will because I knew how to work around Photoshop a little bit, but to make title cards, oh my God, that was like teaching a caveman to make fire. It was incredible. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it. And they're stupid, simple title cards too. And let me, re let me add an addendum to that they're stupid simple in the way that I set them up the artwork for the ones that I have so far are definitely not stupid simple and are made by some incredibly talented people but coming back around to what I was saying before the quality is something that I think I can do a hell of a lot better and I'm gonna keep trying to improve that sound wise I think I got it pretty on par recording wise I think I got that pretty good but I think I can work on a couple of things, title cards being one of them. And you know, when you marry content, quality, and quantity, then I think you really got something to say and something to show. And who knows, two years from now when I do a recap, it's, uh, it could be an entirely different scenario. But all this to say that if you find yourself ever thinking along a similar line, you're looking at your videos, maybe you're looking at somebody else you follow or someone you admire, and you're kind of thinking, man, I've done more than they have, and I'm not in the same spot. Whether it's in life or whether it's in YouTube, and whether you're trying to do this as a job or as a hobby, whatever passion or path you choose or pursue, don't compare yourself to somebody else because the circumstances the motivations, the long-term goals, they're all different. The timing's all different. The person's different and the audience is different. Everything about what they're trying to do is unique to them, even if you're both making relatively the same kind of video. So don't get discouraged, don't get jealous, and don't compare yourself to somebody else like that. Focus on your thing and enjoy the hell out of doing that. And I, I fervently believe like that combined with patience and hard work, in the end that shines through. Again, whether you want to make this a hobby or something else, it doesn't matter. The success you enjoy will come through if you keep going at it and constantly improving. And, and again, I guess, I guess exercising a little humility and empathy along the way. Not so much a thoughts on gaming, more a thoughts on my gaming and the channel in general. So. Thoughts? I guess that is thoughts on gaming then. Never mind. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for indulging this little philosophical rant. Hope you've been enjoying the Stardew Valley videos as well, because that is a game that I think I could play from here until the day I die. That is just too much fun, and I have barely scratched the surface. So I'm going to get back to that. And I hope you guys are having a great day too. Until next time, my name's Rye. You guys take care of yourselves.